Hey, I'm Maria Sharapova. Just kidding. I'm Rebecca, but welcome to Evolve Tennis One. Now, man, I love tennis. It's one of the most played sports worldwide. It welcomes all ages, all skill levels, and you can play this throughout your entire life, but you don't need to be a tennis player to benefit from and enjoy this workout. Because although it is specifically designed to help improve your tennis game, these same primal movements can be found in all facets of life. So let's do this. Take your hands all the way up overhead. We're gonna rotate over to the right, reach back behind you, lift the heel, back through center, rotate over to the left, lift the heel, back through center, a little bit speedier right now. Lift, up, and twist, center, and twist, center, good work. Four more, and three, last two, and one. Hold your hands all the way up, bring them out to the side. Your hands go in, up, in, out. We gotta warm those shoulders up today. Hands go in, up to the sky, in and out. This workout is going to work on those tennis fundamentals. Now many of these movements you've seen in strength, core, and agility, so you should be familiar with many of them. If not, let the tutorials break them down for you. Let's hold the hands out, bring them forward, and then turn the palms away from one another. Palms in, palms out. Start to really Manipulate the shoulders, the back, the chest, all together. Couple more, start to inhale. Inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale, push. Last two, last one. Hold the arms out, Egyptian arms right here. I want you to bring your knee up to your elbow. And a cross crawl twist. Waking up the core, start to incorporate the legs. So you're gonna have three mods here. Now mod one is gonna be the easiest, all the way up to mod three, which is gonna be the hardest. Why don't you guys keep going right here? Start to warm that heart rate up, yeah? Yeah. Good. So this is Bartek over here in Mod 1. Now he's gonna be giving you the most basic movements. And once you feel comfortable with Mod 1, I want you to come see Kamar in Mod 2. I just like sugar for Kamar. <laughs> he's gonna hold it down for you. So as soon as you're ready to move from 1 to 2, check him out. Our most challenging mod is Mod 3, which Ray Lynn is gonna show you today. But if that is too hard, mod down and find Kamar back in Mod 2. You can evolve up or mod down depending on your level. Let's go ahead and take our hands down by our side and start to take a jog right here. Shake out the wrists. We're gonna have rackets in our hands, yeah? Whether you're on or off the court, I want you to picture a racket in your hand. So we're gonna start manipulating the wrists and all the fingers, all the extensors in your digits. And I want you to reverse it. A couple more right here. Feels good, right? Waking yeah. up your fingers. All oh, that texting, baby, right? Take your arms in, start to let the hands come up. Taking the heart rate up with you as we go through this. Keep it up, guys. I want you to take the feet a little bit wider, get a little lower, start to march it out in place. Keep the chest up and really just lift the heels. So this set is gonna have two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blow at the end of each round. It's gonna be 90 seconds of fun. Couple more right here. Take the feet nice and narrow. Take the chest up nice and tall. Hands on the hips, we're gonna go forward. We're gonna go side and back. Just a little tap. It goes front, side, back. Again, front, waking up the legs, side, back. And we'll do the same on the other side. Step it together, left side forward. Side, back. Get a little bouncy on those toes. You're gonna have to change direction in a lot of the movements that you're doing today. So why not get started right in that warm-up? You got four, three, two, one. Big breath in, exhale the hands down, and that ends our warm-up. We're gonna get right into our first round of set A today. So I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, hands up overhead, take a nice deep squat down for two, hold for one, lift, over to the side. Down for two, hold for one, and lift, and hold, this is your teapot squat. Down, down, hold, lift, hold. Flex up that foot, it's gonna help you keep your balance. Let's get started in three, two, one. So you're gonna see Bartek in mod one right here have his hands on his hip. Now he's still getting that balance on his foot. Shifting his weight from side, center, to the right, down through center, and over to the left. Can you take your hand off your hip for a little high five? There it is. <laughs> Hey, why not, right? I'm always coming for some sugar. Mod two right here, hands are out in front. I want you reaching forward with your hands, but I want your shoulder blades drawing back. Now you're gonna see his hands come out in front of him, and then as he goes over to the side, his hands come up, 
and travels with his body. So he's one straight line. Look at this. It's a beautiful, nice diagonal. Stellar. You have three, two, one, and let's move right along into our lunge with our twist. I want your hands in waking position. So fingers right behind those ears. Elbows press back, open up the chest, step forward the right leg. You're gonna twist, hold one, two, back and up. Down, twist, one, two, center and lift. Alternating sides. Three, two, one, here we go team. Down one, twist, hold, hold, center and switch. Down, twist, hold, hold, center, and lift. So you're alternating sides right here. Now you're gonna see Raylan keep the 90 degree angle. She's not gonna let her knee go past that angle. Mod three, we stop in 90 degree angle. Knee over the ankle, knee under the hip. I want you to stop at a certain point so that you're not surpassing that joint, right? Same goes for mod one and mod two. Although they're only lunging at a 30 degree and 60 degree angle, the rule is the same. Keep that knee directly above the ankle to avoid potential injury. Go one more down. Knee directly over the ankle. That was a sweet spot right there. That's three, two, one. She knew it. Relax, guys. Come on up. We're going into a reaching side lunge. Hands come up overhead, thumbs back. Shoulders are behind you, nice and wide in the chest. We're going to come over to the right, reach outside of that right leg. Back up overhead, outside of the left leg, back up overhead. Time starts in three, two, one. If you need it broken down, go check out the tutorials. Jana's going to break it down for you. Now, Mod 1 is reaching across his body to hip height and is lunging about 30 degrees to accomplish this. In the more challenging Mod 3, the reach is again all the way across the body, but she's extending towards the foot and her 90 degree lateral lunge is allowing her to do this. In between, we have Mod 2. What I want you to see right here is Kamar comes left. His lunge goes into that 70 degree lunge. Come right back up. Nice hold right there. Thanks for maintaining that. Let's do it again. There's a 70 degree lunge over to the left. Let's hold it. Three, two, just kidding, keep going. <laughs> nice work. You guys get three, two, one. Excellent job right there. Moving into our traveling squat. So I want you to take your hands up overhead. I want you to come down into a squat. We're gonna travel two times to the right. One, two, left, one, two. Now, get ready to feel the burn because we're not coming out of this. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. So we're staying down in the squat the entire time. This is an isometric hold that we're just traveling side to side. We're waking up our body in this lateral plane. On a daily basis, we traditionally move front, we ride our bicycles, we sit in a car, we sit at the table, we sit at our desk. Everything happens in front of us. Nothing happens to the side of us. So now we're actually gonna start to incorporate this lateral movement in our body. Hey Bartek, how's it going? Oh, it's going. How do those legs feel? Starting to burn a little. Good. Legs are talking back to you guys. Oh yeah, just a little. It doesn't matter if you're only squatting to 30 degrees in mod one, 60 degrees in mod two, or 90 degrees in mod three. This is a challenging exercise that's gonna prepare you to get the ball at any point on the court. Let's three, two, one, shake it out. Here comes the hay baler, man. Take the feet out nice and wide. I want you to come down outside of that right thigh, grab hold tight, throw it up over that left shoulder. Down, lift, down, lift. You're gonna stay on this right hand side until you to switch. Let's go ahead and start in three, two, one, get started. Now, it doesn't matter what mod you're in, whether you're squatting at 30, 60, or 90 degrees, I want you to contract your muscles and imagine you're actually handling that bale of hay. So typically, a bale of hay weighs between 60 and 75 pounds. Ugh. That's more like it. <laughs> Thank you. Switching sides right here. Let's go to that left side. I need to see you throw 65 pounds of pure hay. Amazing. To be prepared at any time. But th just think about that backhand right now. If you're a righty, maybe if you're a lefty, it's that straight up forehand. You've got to generate that force and it comes right from that rotation right there. You have three, two, one. Excellent. Come on down to your belly. We're going into our prone snow angel. So we're going to take your face and I want you to look down at the floor. Arms are going to come down by the side of your body. We're going to lift all the way up into a Superman. Open up the arms and the legs. Close everything back up. So we're going to open up, close it back in. Three, two, one, and let's begin. In mod three, we stay nice and lifted. The back side of the body keeps you up off the ground. Now Raylan 
She's a dancer, man. You can tell right here, yeah? The flexibility in her spine is there and it's able to really maintain this nice lifted position. If you're not gonna have as much flexibility in your back, that's okay. You can still be strong in your back and start to lift on an exhale. So I want you to inhale for me on the arms out, inhale. On an exhale, I want you to lift a little higher. So she can even get a little higher right here too. That's beautiful. Use your breath, it's gonna help you. Do you ever see those tennis players? That's their breath. And it starts right here. You have three, give me a breath. Two, exhale, and one. Nice work. Okay guys, coming into our crunching bird dog. I want you on all fours right here. Go ahead and tuck the toes under. We're gonna go ahead and lift that right arm out to a 45 degree angle. Left leg back behind you. Crunch the elbow to the knee and extend it back out. In, 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 out, out, out. Three, right side, two, one, here we go. So the tempo is out, hold, in, hold. Stay on this right side. You have about 15 more seconds on this right side. Inhale the arm all the way out. Exhale the arm all the way in. So you're gonna see in mod two right here, he's extending all the way out but he's not gonna quite touch his elbow to his knee. Go ahead and switch sides. What's happening in mod one? Arm reaches out first, leg reaches out second. Do it again, arm reaches out first, leg reaches out second. So you're still finding one, two, and three points of contact with the floor at all times. Whenever you're lifting one limb off the floor, or even two, it's the core doing the work. You have three, two, one, and that's it right there, guys. First blowout, I want you to stand it up. You got single leg side bounds and semi-squat rotators. It looks like this. You're gonna have a racket in either hand, depending on the side that you're going to. Reaching over, reaching over, right to left. And I want you to balance on each landing. Semi-squat rotator, clasp hands right here, shoulders down and back, rotate right, left, right, left. Make sure your hair doesn't smack you in the face. Okay, no excuses, let's make it count. Three, two, one, let's go. Over to the right, over to the left. Now, you can see her really jump it across. I want you to back it up just a little bit. I want you to get in the center of your space right here, and I want you to use the entire thing. Get to the outside, outside, either one, that's it. Come on, keep it up. You have about 10 more seconds, and we're gonna go into our rotator. Your core is gonna love this, I promise. Every single hit becomes so much easier. We wake up the back side of the body, and use it with the core at the same time. Three, two, one, let's go right here. Clasp those hands, rotate it right and left. Make sure that there's no rocking in those knees. I need the knees to stay forward. No rocking in the knees. Sink down in the hips, back, hips back a little bit. Knees over the ankle, pull your butt back behind you. There it is, that's much better. Form counts even in blowouts. I need everything, you guys. Give it to me right here. Can you go a little faster? Just a tiny bit. That's it. Keep the intensity up. Three, two, one. Right side. Bounce. Hold it. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Right. Hold it. Three, two, one. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Hold it. Four, three, two. Test it. Left. Go. Four, three, two, back to rotators. Clasp it, finish right here. You have seven seconds. Make it count right here, power it up. Completely side to side. You have three, you have two, one, and relax. Excellent, excellent work. Please grab yourself a sip of water. You just got yourself 45 second break. Sugar. Playing tennis is so much fun you're not even gonna realize that you're going to increase your stamina, your muscular endurance, improve your overall performance, and it all starts right here. Right? We're already feeling our body waking yeah, already. up. already, I'm sweating. Sweating? Yeah. It's music to my ears. <laughs> it's like candy for my eyes. Okay, we got our second round of set A coming up. It's gonna start again with that teapot squat. I want each and every move to be bigger, better, and stronger the second round. You all ready? You got ready, me, I'm team? Ready. Let's do it. Hands up overhead. Take a nice deep squat, down for two, hold for one, lift, over to the side. Down for two, hold for one, and lift, and hold. Let's get started in three, two, one. Let's go down into that squat, and we're gonna go over to the right first. So the hands don't stop at the body, they don't stop at the shoulder, they stop as she reaches to the left at her foot, it's connected. I want you to think that your right hand is connected 
to your left foot inside of it. Now come through center and your left hand is connected to the inside of this right foot. You're gonna flex through it and I can see that there's a difference between here and here. Extend out, become as long and wide as possible. Think about reaching for a shot. It's the difference between making it and not making it. I want you to get there and have the flexibility and know what it feels like before going for it on the court. Two, one, and relax. Let's go into our lunge with our twist. Hands behind your ears, elbows back, right leg comes forward, twist, one, two, center, and switch. Down, one, two, center, and switch. Here we go, three, two, one, let's begin. So you're gonna see a mod one right here that his hands are crossed on top of his shoulders. So as he drops down into this nice 30 degree lunge, he's exhaling and twisting, ready? So that was me breathing for you right here. Now I'd like to hear you breathe. Ready? That's it right there. Magic. Bartek, you're such a good student. Kamara's gonna breathe for me too. In mod two, hands are stacked one on top of the other, elbows in line with his shoulder. He's dropping down to a 60 degree lunge and he's alternating legs right here, exhaling on the twist. That's gonna say the same. What's different is the depth of the lunge, the range of motion, and the position of the arms. Float between your mods, see what works for you. You have three, two, one, and relax. Reaching side lunge is up next. I want your hands all the way up overhead. Reach out towards the right, back through center. Reach out towards the left, up through center. Your time starts in three, two, one. Let's begin. The foot is key to proper form because all the power generated in the upper and lower leg is ultimately passed down through the foot. That's a lot of power to control and especially important for form when moving laterally. It's coming down into that lunge, it's pushing off, and maybe you'd even change directions right here. We're going side, center, side, center. You have about 20 more seconds. In mod two, again, hands come directly out in front of you, reaching over, the twist is still there. He's gonna hit me back here with his hand. Ready, opposite side, come through. Hit me back with your hand, find it. Aha, I gotcha, come back. You have one more right here, you guys. You got three, oh, two, last one. Excellent job. Hey, it was right there, right? Traveling squat, hands up overhead, get nice and low, two steps right, two steps left. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Traveling in your squat, you're on defense, right? You're not quite sure where the ball's headed, what the next move is, you gotta be able to read your opponent. And in the meantime, not feel like you wanna collapse because your legs are so tired. So the way we build up that endurance in your muscles is by staying in them. Let them engage, let them tire out. If you're in mod one, sink into that squat. Keep your hands on your hips. That's beautiful, Bartek. How are we feeling? Feeling good. You feel this, Raylan? She's like, I feel it, I'm over here. How about this? Are they burning yet? Oh yeah. Could you last another 30 yep. seconds if you yep. needed to? See, look at that. There's always room to progress. Arms out in front, lift the chest a little higher. That's beautiful. Three, two, one, and relax. Hay baler's coming up. Take the feet out nice and wide. I want you to come down outside of that right thigh. Grab hold tight. Throw it. Down. Throw it. Three, two, one. Right side. Here we go. Actually, really helpful to use that breath. I never hear enough breath. More cowbell, let's go. Sit nice and low, up over the shoulder. Act like you mean it. I wanna see the same intensity in mod one as I see in mod three. Range of motion in the depth of the squat can be a little different, doesn't matter. The intensity stays the same. Switch sides right here. The weight of that hay is not gonna change. No matter if you're coming up to your shoulder, down to your hip, the intensity stays the same. You ready to show me? Ready? Oh. <laughs> Hey, Bartek, I need that hay to weigh more than your purse. <laughs> Three, Come on back. two, one. <laughs> Relax, guys. Okay, oh. prone snow angel, bring it on down. Take your hands back by your body. Lift up, and we're gonna go out into that snow angel. Bring it back. Inhale the arms out on your exhale. Don't be afraid to lift a little higher every time. You have three, two, one, and let's begin. So go ahead and squeeze the shoulder blades together every single time you come back. Mod two right here, there's a pause at the bottom. Reach your arms out, reach them back, lower down. So it's a lift, sweep, pull, and lower. It's a lift, 
sweep, good pace. Back, lower down. Mod one right here, you're gonna see everything lower down and both the back and the front. There's a lower, there's a lift, there's a sweep, and a lower. The back side is definitely not as strong as the front side yet, but we're gonna make them nice and balanced. We gotta equal the body out right here. So we're walking around, right? Our shoulders are being held by our back, not the front. That's it, in three, two, one, and relax. It's a lot of breath going on there, I love it. Crunching bird dog, come on all fours, tuck the toes under, right arm, left leg, crunch in the center, extend out, crunch in the center, extend out. In three, let's do this together, two, and one. Here we go, inhale out, exhale crunch. Inhale out, hold, exhale crunch. Inhale, exhale. That exhale is gonna really help manipulate the core. Now you have to be able to make some room in the core for the abs to engage. So as you're going up, let's go ahead and switch sides, guys. Left arm, right leg, you're gonna see her core cave in and the spine contract up a little bit, right? So really exaggerate. That's what I'm looking for right here. The elbow and knee need to contract and actually touch. So that means bringing your spine up towards the sky and finding it's almost like doing a, a nice crunch or a sit up, but on all fours. Yeah. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming up, guys, it's our blowout, single leg side bounds and semi-squat rotators. Okay, I wanna start jumping to the right and it's gonna be a five second pause. You ready? Ready. I'd like to let you know where we're going. Three, two, one, get your racket, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Left, five, four, three, two, one. To the right, over to the left. Over to the right, over to the left. Come on, keep it up. Three, two, one, let's switch. Switch, switch. Singles, here we go, and right, left, right, left. Pick it up, right, left, get wide, right. You can get wider than that, right, left. You have eight more seconds, come on, come on. Bring it to the right, push it, left. Three, two, one. Semi-squat rotator, how are those legs, guys? That's a little better, right? Legs are on fire right now. Keep the shoulders back. When you bring your hands in front of you, I don't want you to contract forward. Roll the shoulders down and back, squeeze it up. Hips are nice and quiet, right? Get a little lower. There's no booty shaking going on here. Rotate that core, hit my hand with your elbows. That's more like it. You have five, back to the right jump in three. Slow hold, two, and one. Three second hold to the right, go. Two, one, left. Three, two, one, right. Two, one, left. Two, one, right, single, one. Here we go, left, right, left, hit it, right, nice, left, you got three, hey, two, and one. Excellent work, guys, that is your 45 second break. Excellent job, up top, sugar all around. Please go grab some water. I'm gonna get some myself, too. Woohoo. This workout is designed to help you move better on the court. But you don't have to be a tennis player to benefit from what these exercises will do for your body. Now, remember that this set has two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blowout at the end of each round. You guys ready for our first round of set B? Let's yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Reaching forward lunges up first. Arms out to a T position, thumbs up to the ceiling. We're gonna step forward with our right leg, reach outside of that right toe and right back to center, alternating sides. Outside of the leg, back up. It's a twist, drop, and stand. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. Go ahead and pause down at the bottom. Every single time you get back, stand it up and pause again. Pause, bring it back up, and lift. So you're gonna see in mod one right here, he has his hands down by his shoulders. His shoulder blades are pulling back behind him, so he's still giving me that twist right here. How are we feeling, Bartek? Feel it in my core. Core and where else? Mostly the obliques. Obliques are gonna turn you. How about the legs? Oh, I feel it all right here. Good. So legs are taking you down into the lunge and then we're adding in the core twist right here which is completely normal to feel the firing up of your obliques, right? They're gonna be the twisting mechanism of your body. Hands up a little higher for mod two right here. Come on. We were set right up for it. Three, two, one, and recover. V drills up next. 
Find the center of your space and find your V. Off to the diagonals, about 45 degrees. You're gonna run up one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All the way back, right center, left center. As quick as you can, on the toes. Three, two, one, let's begin. Use a breath, it'll help you, it'll guide you. It'll keep your pace and your rhythm right here. So tennis requires quickness and recovery. The idea is to get back to center after every shot. Here, we'll work on getting to different points, always followed by the recovery back to the middle. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. Bring it back. You have about 10 more seconds right here. Keep working. Come on, come on, come on. You see mod one running all the way up to the front, all the way back. One, two, three. One, two, three. You guys have three. Come on, Raylan, let's go. Two and one. Excellent job. We have over the line plank. Let's bring it down. Time to take the heart rate down just a little bit. Find plank position. We're going to walk, and we're going to create an imaginary line in front of your fingers. Walk over, over, under, under. Over, over, under, under. Alternating hands each time. Three, two, one. Let's begin. It goes right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So you have that imaginary line. I'm going to be your imaginary line. Ooh, I like that. Do it again. Over, over, under, under. That's perfect. Every time she reaches her arms out further, the angle in her shoulder opens up. The core activates even more. We're trying to elongate our body. Think about when we took it over into that tilt, right? Reaching for that shot. It's the same thing that's happening when you're on the ground. So you're actually pushing away from the shoulders, building the upper body strength, requiring the legs to fire up and the core all together. You're gonna see a mod two back here, he's on his knees. Still giving me the same exact movement, just taking some of the stress off the core. You have three, two, one. Go ahead and stand it up. We have side shuffle touches coming up next. I want you to start over to the left-hand side so we can travel to the right. It's gonna be two quick shuffles. Reach, reach, down, tap the floor. Shuffle, shuffle, down. Shuffle, shuffle, down. Shuffle, shuffle, down. Always lead with the inside leg. You'll never go wrong. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Nice and quick, stay low to the ground. I want you to travel as far as you can in those two side shuffles. Gain the space, right? If you're playing singles, you have this whole space to yourself that you need to be able to dominate. I want you to get nice and wide, reaching your arms in mod one, over to the side, reach, over to the side and reach. In mod two, you're gonna see Kamar right here dipping his shoulders left and right. Quick dip. That's gonna eventually lead him even further down, just like in mod three of actually touching up, the floor. Guys. Kamar, how you feel? Sweating it out a little bit, right? Yeah. Almost through, Raylan, we got it? Oh yeah. Hit it. Nice, come back, hit me. You have three, you have two, nice, one. That's it, guys. Lay it down for our dead bug. Oh, everyone, time for a nap. Feet up to the sky, hands up to the sky. Just kidding. Got him down, though. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Three, two, one, here we go. Can't believe you guys fell for that. Start to work it right here. Extend the legs out. Mod one right here, knees up over the hips. Toes in line with the knees, extend the leg out from the hip and pull it back in. So we're gonna work the extension in the hip and we're gonna fire up the core to keep the legs lifted. <laughs> oh, Bartek, it makes me laugh. You laugh, I laugh. Now, game on. Tighten it up. Don't make me come in there. <laughs> I'll start laughing before you get close. Y'all are funny, you have 10 more seconds right now. Are you ticklish too? No, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't work right here. The arms and legs are moving together. That's what I wanted to show you right here. You have three, you have two, you have one, and relax. Over to your bellies, we have our prone YWT. Down on our stomach, extend the arms out, focus down to the floor, thumbs up to the ceiling, lift up into the Superman. From Y, you pull W out to the T, scoop the arms up and over. W, T, scoop, Y, W, T. Let's go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So we're starting over in mod three right here. Squeezing the shoulder blades back together, rotating them down, back, and over. We're gonna see in mod two that there's a pause at the bottom every time. And something that we also noticed is that Kamar must have stolen my latest magazine of In Style because we have matching headbands. 
Seriously, though, Kamar works hard and he sweats hard. I like that. Good job. Over here in Mod 1, Bartek is pausing after each letter, giving his lower back a rest as he continues to build his strength. The posterior chain is so important for your tennis swing. So stick at it, guys. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, and relax. We're coming into our tennis plank right here. So guys, come on over to your forearms. Stack your forearms right here. Elbow back, right into the center. Elbow back, right into the center. Really drive that upper body down, back to the hip, back through center. Your time starts in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice. So I want you to actually crunch the body to the side. Crunch my hand right here. Nice, look at that. Keep the hips square and just let the upper body, that's perfect, right, Lynn? Do it again, exhale, twist. Perfect, elbow stays out to the side. Try to take your shoulder with you, really crunch it. That's what I'm looking for right here. Same movements happening in mod one, down on the knees, hips are directly over the knees and the toes are up off the floor. So your only point of contact with the floor is now your knees, no more shins, no more feet. The core is nice and tight, and you're still sliding that hand underneath, driving the elbow back to the hip. You guys are almost there. Here's your final five seconds. You got it, Ray? Yeah. Three, two, one. Pop it up. We have our directional drill coming up. Okay, this is your blowout. You're gonna have 90 seconds to rock my socks with this directional drill. It's either front, back, side, side. Yeah? yeah. Front, back, side, side. We got this. You're gonna be running to the front, you're gonna be shuffling to the sides. Your time starts in three, two, one, up to the front. Back, back, center, front, center, back, center, right, center, right, center, left, center, left, center, front, center, front, center, left, center, Left, center, back, come on. center, back, come on. center, right, come on, come on, center, to the front, back, all the way back, to the center, over to the left, center, over to the right, center, how you feeling, over to the right, over to the right, over to the right, center, over to the right, center, over to the right, center, go left, center, front, back, all the way back, center. Are you getting tired? Are you sure? Hold center, hold center, hold center, hold center, hold center. Are you guys ready? Catch your breath. Three, two, one, forward, center, right, center, back, center, left, center, front, center, left, center, back. Center, right, hold center, three, two, forward and back, forward and back. You have three, you have two, you have one. And shake it out. You have a 45 second break. I gotta give it up to this guy back here. That, my friend, was stellar. Amazing performances, everybody. Amazing job. Okay, guys. With flexibility, you can extend a little bit more, reach a little further, and you don't have to sacrifice missing a hit or risking hurting your joints. Just like you saw in the beginning, overextending, you gotta protect. Really open up those hips a little bit more. Hey, whenever you're passing someone, you should go ahead and give them a high five. This is it, we're moving into our second round of set B. Who's excited? Me. B. Here we go, reaching forward lunge. We're gonna take our hands out to a T. We're gonna reach forward, down outside of that front foot, back to center, outside of the left foot, back through center. Time starts in three, two, one, and let's begin. So keeping those arms nice and out to the side. Keeps your chest lifted, and then as you go forward into the lunge, your right hand comes forward, or your left hand comes forward, but your opposite hand goes back behind you, right? Yes. So it's not as though you're breaking the arms, they're traveling together simultaneously. We're looking to synchronize movement right here. Lots of different primal movements in here that are actually becoming a chain of movements. Whether you're traveling forward, whether you're reaching, or whether you're lunging, it all happens from these movements. You're gonna see the arms down in mod one right here. Bartex twisting, hands down by his shoulders, keeping the chest up nice and tall, and really just dipping down into that lunge 30 degrees right here. Three, two, one, shake it out. V drills up next. 
Shake out the legs, you get a lot of movement coming up. Remember, center always is your home base. Up to the right, down, up to the left, down. You see your V? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, run, run, run. Back, back, back. Left, left, left. Back, back, back. Right, right, right. Back, back, back. Left, left, left. Back, back, back. Right, right, right. Back, back, back. Hit your mark every time. This is your mark. Come back to me. Hit your mark every time. Be specific. Do not lose your center. You need to bring it back, reset, and go for it. That looks great, right? Come on. You got nine feet. Travel, travel. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Three steps. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back, back, back. Get it, Kamara. Let's go. One, two, three. Nice. This is excellent. How are we feeling, guys? Heart rate's up? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. You got three, two. Bartek, how you doing? Good. One. Excellent job, everybody. Come down. We have the over-the-line plank. Good place to catch your breath. Let's go ahead. While I'm leading you in, I want you guys to take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Reach our hands over the line, back through, over the line, back through. Right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So at first, if you have to say it in your brain a few times, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, I get it. It becomes more natural the more you do it. It becomes muscle memory. That's what we're learning to actually create right now. Anything. Dance becomes muscle memory. Basketball becomes muscle memory. Tennis is going to become muscle memory. It's really going to connect your mind to your body if you start to really focus on the movements that we're doing. How are we feeling? Don't oh, sink into work. this floor. I want that push-up position when you come back. Extend out. That's so much better. You feel that? When you get tired, man, that form starts to suffer. Three, two, one. That's a really great point. I want to see you drop into different mods as you need to to keep your form up. You have side shuffle touches coming up. Let's stand it up nice and quick. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, down, reach. This is that dynamic movement that we're taking side to side and mirrors what you do in tennis. These plyometric exercises are vital. Let it get into your body. Wake up the side of the body. Abductors doing the work, outer and inner thighs. Reaching down, take that body with it. Obliques doing the work right here. This is great, keep that heart rate up. Do not slow down. Bartek, how we feeling? Good. Breaking a little sweat, yeah? Starting to. Excellent, that's what I like to hear, babe. Aha, three, two, one. You knew I was waiting for it. Dead bug, lay it on down, guys. Taking those feet all the way up to the ceiling, hands all the way up, right arm, left leg. Whoop, whoop. Left arm, right leg. Keep the head flat on the floor and keep the hips right underneath those feet. Three, two, one, and let's begin. So I wanna see no connection between your arms and legs. They need to be separated so that your foot is directly over your hip. Now this is gonna require quite a bit of extension or flexibility on the back of the legs. Flexibility on the back of the legs comes from stretching, comes from doing the lunges, comes from strengthening the front of the legs as well, right? You can see in mod one that Bartek doesn't have the same flexibility. So his legs are bent at a 90 degree angle. This exercise is really challenging because it requires coordination. Bartek is holding his arms straight up in the air, whereas in mod two, Kamar is starting to incorporate total body coordination by moving his arms and his legs. You have three, two, one, and recover. Laying it on down for your belly, prone YWT. All the way down, thumbs up to the ceiling. Exhale for me. And we're gonna start this all together in three, two, one. We're in Y. Up to W, out to T, swoop, up and over. W, T, and reset, Y, W, T, and reset. Something I see every single time as we're going through this is rather than keeping the legs straight, there's a tendency to bend the knees. Do not start bending your knees right there. I wanna see your thighs lifting off the floor. I want straight legs and I want the toes pointing back to the wall, lifting up behind you. So it doesn't matter which mod you're doing, whether you're pausing after each letter, each rep, or holding it the whole interval, I still want good form. Inhale, lift, exhale, all the way down. 
exhale, lift. That's perfect right there. Three, two, one, and recover. We have our tennis plank coming up. So scooping up, stacking those arms, and we're gonna take our right arm back. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Crunch, back through center, crunch, back through center. Time starts right side in three, two, one, begin. Elbow to hip, elbow to hip. Really create that crunch. So if I took it up top, this is how it would look. Crunch, back through center. Crunch, back through center. I'm looking for you to actually manipulate the QLs on the side of the body. You've done them in core, reaching down, picking something up. It's that nice dip right before you take that hit, right? Right before that volley, that forehand. It comes right into play. Drawing the elbow back towards the hip. Down on your knees, toes off the floor in mod one. Mod two, you have the full plank. I see a lot of sweat equity back here, baby. We're winning. You have three, crunch it. Two, last one, and excellent work. Drop it down. We are coming into our blowout right here. Our directional drill, stand it all the way up. It's front, it's side, it's back, it's side. Can we start to think like a clock? 12, three, six, and nine. How about that? Three, two, one. Bring it center right here. 12, center. 12, center. 12, center. Three, center. Three, center. Three, center. Six, center. Six, center. 12, center. Six, Center, 12, center, six, center, nine, center, three, center, nine, center, six, center, 12, center, nine, center, 12, Ooh. center, nine, aha, six, get it, three, 12, three, Three. Good job, Raylan. Push through, girl. Push through, girl. Three. Good job. Come on, come on, come on. Good job, Raylan. Three. Nine. Twelve. Back, back, back. Twelve. Back. Three. Nine. Three. Nine. Six. Woo. Twelve. Six. Good job, Bartek. Twelve. Get it, 12, 12, 12, let's go. Back through center, 12 again. Come on, come on, come on, three, two, last one. Excellent job. You guys got yourself a 45 second break. Nice. Don't miss it. Let's get a sip of water in us. Not too much, I don't want you guys to cramp, but definitely stay hydrated right here. Good work. So weight loss is a benefit of tennis as well. It conditions your heart, it increases your metabolism, and it burns calories on and off the court. Have fun and get lean, duh. Okay guys, don't forget, this set has two rounds of seven exercises with a mean cardio blow at the end of each round. So we're gonna get into our first round of set C right after I get another high five. High 10. Ooh. You ready? Let's get into our single leg twists. Your hands are gonna be in Egyptian arms and it looks like this. Get solid on that left leg. Take your right leg up to nice 90 degrees. Go ahead and twist over, bring it back through center. Over, back through center. Time starts in three, two, one, here we go. Twist, hold, center, hold. I wanna pause every direction that you go in. I want you to keep this knee in line with the hip. Eventually, you're gonna start to lift and you know, being a dancer, where do you lift from? Underneath, right? So not to grip the hip, but to stay balanced in the core. Switch legs, left leg up. We're gonna twist over to that standing leg now. Keep the arms open, palms up. Now in mod two, you're gonna have the arms stacked one on top of the other. The leg's gonna be a little bit lower and we're just gonna maintain that balance right here. Luckily, you're not ticklish. You would have fallen down right there. Promise won't touch you. Hands crossed right here. Could be fatal, right? <laughs> Keep that foot lifted, hands crossed on top of the chest. You have three, two, one, and relax. Superman single leg deadlifts. Take that right leg back behind you. Take the hands right into the shoulders. We're gonna extend out for three seconds. Reach one, two, three, hold, and lift. Don't put that foot down. One, two, three, hold, and lift. Make sure there's a balance right there. Three, two, one, and let's begin. 
So I'm gonna look in mod two right here. As he's reaching out, he's gonna bring his arms all the way out to that Y position. That's beautiful. Thumbs up to the ceiling. Look down at the floor just a little bit more for me the next time you come down. Good. And there's a slight tap of the foot at the bottom here in mod two. Let me see it happen. Pull it in. Switch legs. Excellent. So nice and long. He's super tall. I want to see how long Kamar can get. Come on. Thumbs up. Reach those fingers. Pull that back foot away from me. That's more like it. Now come up. Good. Tech, how we doing? Balancing. Balancing. Pull up from that knee cup. You got this right here. Mod one. Reach your arms out. Three, two, one. And relax. Our iron tee is coming up next. Here's a pattern. I want you to watch and then do. You're starting at the end of the tee. You come up to the front, over to the right, back through center, over to the left, back through center, and down again. We're gonna go start with the right and we'll switch to the left, alternating side to side. We're gonna go as quickly as we can. Time starts in three, two, one, here we go. It's center, right, center, left, center, left side, center, left, center, right, center, back, right leg. Forward, right, center, left, center, back. Keep it up right now. Directional changes are a huge component of tennis. You have to be able to switch directions at any moment. Coming forward, one, two, stay on the toes. One, two, nice and light on those feet. You see his quads ripping, firing up right now. As much as the legs burn, stay as light as you can. Kamar, how we doing? Good. So you're gonna see that mod one right here is in one straight line. In mod two, we're doing the full iron tee just a little slower. Three, two, one, and come on down. We have our sneaky bear coming up. I want you to come onto all fours. Tuck the toes under, and at first we're gonna lift up into the bear hold. From here, it's a right hand left leg lift, left hand right leg lift. It's very small, it's tiny, it's controlled. Three, two, one, and let's go. Lift, hold, one, two, down, switch, one, two, down, hold. I want you to hold for two seconds every single time you lift the arm and the leg. Now, doing both the arm and the leg at the same time in mod three, in mod two, we're gonna take just the hand up, right? The knees stay hovering the entire time. But you're gonna see the Kamar keeping his head nice and long, can look down at the ground a little bit more, keeping his neck nice and long, and pushing away from the floor. So separating the shoulders away, that's what I'm looking for, beautiful. And in mod one, we're gonna go lift to the knees and drop the knees, lift the knees and drop one at a time right here. Three, two, one, and relax. Supine Frankensteins are up next, so let's lay it down on our back. We're gonna take our hands up overhead and our legs nice and long. From here, keep your head on the floor, lift your arms and legs up off the floor, and you're gonna go ahead and reach. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Time starts in three, two, and one. This is a great way to learn a jackknife. Starting to incorporate upper and lower body, and the best thing about it is that no matter what mod you're doing, there's no strain on the neck whatsoever. So, reaching the hand and leg all the way up to the ceiling, and you're gonna see Bartek right here, feet on the floor, hands on the floor. Reach it all the way up, give me a high five. Lower down, give me another high five. There's always room for some more, right? Exhaling as you lift, mod two. Keeping the hands and feet off the floor and lowering down in between a full set. So with a lift, reach, open, reach, open, and then a lower down. Perfect. No matter where you are, I wanna hear your breath. You got three, you got two, one, and relax down. Nice work, come on over. We're going plank to plank right now. This is gonna start from forearms, so I want you to stack your forearms one over the other. You're gonna open up into star plank for three, two, one, transfer, open left, three, two, one, transfer back through center. Time starts in three, two, one, let's go. So keep that hip lifted from underneath the side of the body. You're gonna see a mod one right here, his bottom foot is stacked. As he opens up, his hand comes right on top of his hip, elbow up to the ceiling. So use that bottom leg as a kickstand. Now in mod two, Kamara is showing you that the hand is all the way up to the ceiling. The feet are gonna be staggered one in front of the other. So the top leg is gonna be in front of the bottom leg. That way you're gonna have a lot more balance. 
spreading the weight out in the feet, keeping the hand nice and open and the chest nice and lifted. Mod three right here, Raylan's rocking this star plank right here. She's gonna get her foot all the way up to me. Remember what I said about that bottom ankle right here. The only way to stay stable is to strengthen it up. You got three, two, one, and relax, guys. Shake out the wrist really quickly. Maybe the forearms, we have a plank march coming up. Not going too far, starts down on the forearms. Take your feet back behind you. We're gonna come up, hand, hand, forearm, forearm. Opposite, opposite, down, down. So it goes right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Time starts in three, two, one, let's go. I see something happening over here and I see this every single time, no matter how good you are, no matter if you've been doing mod three every single time, let's face it, we're in set C right now, our body's starting to get tired. I start to see drops in form. I want you to stabilize your hips. And I want you to keep the core nice and tight. So as you go down, it's only upper body. Core is staying nice and stabilized. That's a little better, right? It's a lot harder, huh? You got it. About 20 more seconds, not even. Let's see what's up. No rocking those hips. It's actually really hard to rock the hips when you're down on your knees. So if you feel yourself rocking in the hips and opening, drop down to mod two. You got this. You guys have four. This is it. Three, two, one. Stand it on up here is our blowout, it's a clock drill. You have 12, three, six, and nine, but I want you to picture an entire clock now, right? Not just the cross. You have all 12 numbers. We cool with that? Yeah. You're gonna lunge out no matter what direction. I call out two, you lunge out. I call out five, you lunge out. I want you to take your racket in your dominant hand, no matter what it is, righty, lefty, whatever it is. Let me see it. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, here we go, two o'clock, three o'clock, 12, 12, three, two, nine, nine, 10, seven, eight, nine, 12, three, six, three, two, Three, six, ha, three, hook, nine, ha, nine, ha, let me hear it, 12, ha, 12, three, five, five, let's go, see it, five again, five again, five again, you'll never forget it, three, 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 12, let's go. Three. Nine. Get it. Three. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Twelve. Ten. Come on, come on, we're almost there. Three. Twelve. One. Two. Ten. Nice, there it is. You have three, two, one, and that, my friends, is your 45 second break. Go take a sip of water, you deserve it. Keep you on your toes, yeah? Hey, it's fun. For me, too. Tennis is gonna force you to increase your capacity for dealing with stress. Learn to win graciously, learn to lose with honor. Gloating after a win or making excuses after a loss doesn't work in tennis or in life. But just make sure never to play me because I'm a really bad loser and I'm an even worse winner. So just putting it out there. <laughs> I'm working on it myself. Work in progress here, people. Second round of set C coming up. Again, starting with our single leg twist, arms out, nice Egyptian arms. Take the right leg up, flex the foot, twist over, hold, center, hold. Over, hold, center, hold. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. And I don't just mean in tennis, I mean in cards and spoons, anything. Really bad, the same. Spoons, yeah? Ever played? It's a lot of fun. Cross those arms, keep the chest nice and tight. Exhale as you twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. When you exhale, you're actually getting rid of a lot of the oxygen, switch sides, that's in the core, so you're making room for the muscles to manipulate and twist. If you have a, a belly full of air, it's gonna be really more difficult 
to twist. Then if you exhale, and then twist. You'll go a lot further, I promise. Try it yourself, I promise it'll happen. You got three, you trying it? Two, and one. Shake it out, we have our Superman single leg deadlift coming up. Right leg goes back behind you, thumbs up, elbow squeeze back behind you, push all the way out. One, two, three, hold, and lift. You guys got this, right hand side. Three, two, one, let's begin. If you find it hard to balance, focus on a point on the floor. The way we pull and find our stability is pressing that big toe into the floor. There we go. Pull up from the kneecap, tighten up the ankle, really press through the back heel behind you, and try to get as long as you can. You ever had any Laffy Taffy? Switch sides. You have? Yeah. You ever try to pull it and see how far it'll stretch before it yeah. breaks? I want you to get like that right now. It's stretchy. <laughs> it's delicious too, right? It is. Not too much, people. No cavities right here. Extend all the way up. It's perfect. Look at that extended back leg. I can't wait to see your arabesque one day. Out, out, out. You have four. Hold it. Let's go. Just three. Just hold it right here. Two. This is it. Excellent job. That's one. We got our iron tee coming up. Now, we're going forward to the right, back through center, to the left, back through center, and straight down. Make the T. Here we go. Three, right side, two, one, all together. Up, right, left, center, back, left side. Back, here we go. Now I want you to notice that if all the direction changes are not working for you yet, I want you to go right here to mod one. I want you to go forward, forward, back, back. Do it again, forward, forward, back, back. Hit again, forward, forward, back, back. Mod one, two forward, two back. Mod two, a little slower right here. There's a pause in every direction he hits. It's specific movements. You know where he's going, right? Do you know where you're going? I know exactly where I'm going. Okay, just so <laughs> want to make sure, you never know. You have five more seconds right now. Pick it up, Raylan, let's go. You have three, you have two, and one. Shake it out, come on down for the sneaky bear. Hands directly underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, lift the knees into a hover off the floor. Right hand, left leg, hold. Left hand, right leg, hold. Time starts in three, two, one. Let's begin. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's your rhythm. I want you to keep saying it in your head. Get on the beat. Two holds and a drop. Two holds and a drop. Two holds and a drop. You got it? Yeah. You have a song in your head now? I do. <laughs> hey, whatever works right here. So again, mod two right here. One hand lifting at a time, the knees stay in a hover. Flat back, long neck. Mod one right here, it's a drop of the knee and a drop of the knee. So it goes left knee and then right knee. This is three, two, one. Exhale and drop down. Awesome job. Supine Frankensteins are up next. I heard your breath on that one. High five. Thanks. Arms up, legs up, hovering off the floor with the arms and legs. So we need to reach right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg. Let's go, three guys, two and one. Here we go. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice. Keep your head on the floor, by all means. It'll relax the neck, it'll relax the jaw. Let your tongue fall off the roof of your mouth. You should be able to breathe right here. Inhale, slow through the nose. Exhale, slow through the mouth. So reaching the hands all the way up and dropping the feet down to the floor. The actual lifting of the arms and legs is a challenge in itself. So eventually, once you get the strength, you're gonna come into mod two right here. There's gonna be a nice hollow hold, two reaches, and then a pause at the bottom. This is fantastic. Last three, two, one, lower down, awesome job. We got our plank to plank coming up, so I want you to flip it over and come onto your forearms, okay? So the way this works, you're gonna open up to your right hand side, you're gonna open up into a star, and it's a three second hold. One, two, three, hi. Open to the left, here we go. Hey, three, <laughs> two, one, back through center. Time starts in three, two, one. Let me see what you got right here. So. Get on the outer edge of that bottom foot, outer edge, completely rock down. Strengthen up that ankle. Now come through, and again, outer edge of that foot. So your ankle shouldn't be wobbly down here. It should be nice 
and solid. And the only way you're gonna get a solid ankle is to flex that foot. That way there's no rocking anywhere. If it's loose, there's tons of rocking. Strengthen the ankle, then pull up, pull the rib cage together, tuck the hips slightly forward so you have a nice long back. If you aren't here yet, no judgment. Perfect your form in mod one, then mod two, and then mod three. One plank at a time, guys. Always feel free to use the tutorials. Even if you're all the way in set C, doesn't matter. It happens. Three, two, one. Awesome work. Shake it out. We got our plank march coming up, and it starts from forearms again. Yeah, baby. Tons of shoulders right here. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Let's go all together. In three, two, one, we go. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Keep rocking right here. I just need rock to move. I don't want you to rock your hips, remember. Keep those abs nice and solid. Press all the way up, get long, down, down. Use the floor as your tool. It's as if you were doing it against the wall. If you're leaning up against the wall, you would still push away from the wall, yeah? If you're falling down onto the floor, I need you to push away from the floor. That even means right here. If you're sinking down, push away. Get nice and tall. I'm gonna come lock those hips down again, quiet hips. Did I just make it even harder? You have eight more seconds. Come on, come on. Right, Lynn, you got this. Let's go. Right Give it to her, guys. Let's go. Four. Come on. Three, two, one. Excellent job. That's it right there. Stand it up. This is your final clock drill. Got to have a ton of fun with this one. Are you guys ready? Go. It feels good to be right near the end. You're 90 seconds from your finish. Can we do this? We can do this. Let's go, guys. Big blow out right here, guys. Clock drill in three. Grab your racket, keep it in this hand. Two, feet together, and one. Three o'clock, three o'clock, four, five, six, six, five, nine, eight, eight, ten, ten, twelve, ten, three, three, nine, Nine, ha, three, let me hear it, let me hear it. Three, four, three, one, 12, a little louder. There we go, six, 10, ha, 10, nine, bring it back, right, Lynn, seven. There it is, seven again, hit it. Smash it, 12, smash it, boom. Smash, smash it, 12, smash. boom, three. Ball right, backhand, left, three. Nine again, forehand, three. Three o'clock, three, five. Smash, 12, half, six, three, two. Come on, hard tech, nine, 10. You're there, guys, three. 12 o'clock, two, 12 o'clock, one, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. And you're done. Congratulations, guys. Tennis one extended, you made it through. Team, sugar for mama. Let's grab some water and let's start our cool down. Anybody sweating? Can anyone talk? <laughs> Is that a real question? Mm. Come on, dry as a bone. <laughs> you know, in a game of tennis, sometimes the only way to win a match is to outlast your opponent with greater stamina. Working on keeping your heart rate up during a workout is going to increase your endurance. And endurance is going to be essential to be able to withstand long and extended matches. You guys ready to get cooled down, yeah? Yeah. Nice and cooled down. Roll the shoulders down and back. Open up the chest. I want to flip the palms down, roll the shoulders forward, drop the head. Palms open, look up. Palms back, look down, curl the head, curl the spine. Last time, roll the shoulders back, palms up, look up. Inhale the arms all the way up overhead. Interlace your fingers, reach up and over to the right. Curl your spine forward, press your palms out in front of you. Exhale, reach all the way up. Inhale, over to the left. Back up through center, and go ahead and just shake it out right now. Give me a nice march, pull it down. I just want you to tap the inside of your knee, 
inside, inside. Now, if you can, I want you to tap the instep of your foot. Either one's fine, inside of your knee, instep of your foot, either one's gonna work for me. You're gonna hold it here for five. We're gonna tap our heel behind us. Three, two, one, heel behind you. Heel, 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 heel. Right heel, left, that feels good. Right, left, four more, let's go. Four, three, two, feet together. Bring your hands all the way up. Slide your right hand down, reach for your right ankle, stand nice and tall. Lift that left hand up to the sky. Keep the core nice and lifted and controlled. Point the knee, this knee, down to the ground. And go ahead and switch. Right hand up, reach down for that left ankle, stand nice and tall. Shake it out right here. Open the arms, swing left and right. Really rotate that core. Lift the heel on either direction. We're gonna get a hammy stretch for you guys too. You did a ton of work. Last three, two, one. Center, inhale all the way up. Slide your hands on the left thigh. Extend your right foot out in front of you and sink as low as you can with your toe up towards you. Point your toe down, flex it up. Step it in, switch sides. Left foot goes out, sink down as far as you can go. Point the toe down, flex it up. Feet together, roll it all the way up. Roll your wrists out. Three, two, one. And let's take a nice deep breath in. Inhale all the way up. Step the feet together, hands down to heart center, and give yourself a round of applause. Hey, listen, whether you did this today for fun or to improve your game, you did your body good. Congratulations again. Bring it in, team. I love these guys. You worked so hard today. I'm Rebecca, this is my team, and thanks for sticking around for Evolve Tennis One Extended Program.